My question is for George Pell. George, as a climate change skeptic, you demand a very high standard of evidence to support the hypothesis that global warming has an anthropogenic cause. My question is, why then do you not demand the same standard of evidence for the existence of God? George Pell. <laughs> Uh, I'm very, very happy to answer that. Uh, first of all, I'm not a skeptic about uh, climate change. I grew up in Ballarat. The weather was always shy. I worked for years in Melbourne. If you don't like the weather in Melbourne, wait 20 minutes. Uh, uh, think of all the nonsense people like Flannery told us about years of drought here, and now we're, co we're coping with floods. So you are, the so can, can, can I just back. clarify that you're a skeptic about global warming I'm, leading to climate change? I'm, I'm, I'm a skeptical. I was skeptical uh, about the hum human contribution to dangerous climate change. I think that is not established. And, and, is, and sorry, is that because you're skeptical about scientific consensus? And is that partly driven no, 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 by, the, by what scientists believe about religion? No, it's got nothing to do with it. Uh, on, on, the, on the weather question, I go on the evidence. When you come to talk about God, that is not a scientific question. The scientists... Uh, uh, concede that. Uh, it is a question uh, that w is open, I believe, to reason. You have to reason about the facts of science. Uh, ask whether you believe that uh, uh, the suggestion that um, you know, random selection um, is, is sufficient. And also, most evolutionary biologists today don't believe that. Don't believe uh, what? They don't believe in... Uh, uh, random, so this crude fundamentalist version of random selection that you propose. I do not propose it, and um, I strongly deny that, that evolution is random selection. Good. Evolution is non-random selection. Oh, non so there's a, there's a purpose to it, is there? No. <laughs> could, could, could you explain what non-random means? Yes, of course I could, as my life's work. Um, <laughs> It's, it's a hard thing to say, but keep it brief. <laughs> There's random genetic variation and non-random survival and, and a non-random reproduction, which is why, as the generations go by, animals get better at doing what they do. That is quintessentially non-random. It does not mean there's a purpose in the sense of a human purpose, in the sense of a guiding principle which is thought up in advance. With hindsight, you can say something like a bird's wing looks as though it has a purpose. A human eye looks as though it has a purpose, but it has come about through the process of non-random natural selection. There is no purpose in the human sense. There's a kind of pseudo-purpose, but it's not a purpose in the human sense of conscious uh, guiding. But above all, I must stress that Darwinian evolution is a non-random process. One of the biggest misunderstandings, which I'm sorry to say the Cardinals just perpetrated, uh, is, that there is, some, is that evolution is a random process. It is the opposite of a random process.